Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just Ask. Today's show, ladies and gentlemen, is Juicing for Life with Dr. K. Hurry back and join us. I'm your host, Marsha Florence, for Just Dance, ladies and gentlemen, and today's show is Juicing for Life with Dr. K. And who else will we have in our, our studio today? Well, no, we're not at the studio. We're at Solar Life and Fitness. Who will we have with us today in today's kitchen? Dr. K. Good morning. Good morning, Marsha. Good to see you again. Good being seen. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Now, Dr. K, it has been so long, and people kept saying, well, where's the lady that does all the holistic care and tell us how to get started? And it has been a while. And first, I want to thank you for joining us today because we're here at Solar Life and Fitness Center, uh, Division of Beaumont, in, in our lovely kitchen. Yes. Okay, so today, tell us a little bit what's been going on, and hey, I know you got a surprise for us back there. Yes, um, well, I'm focusing on juicing today, raw. Uh, people have been just coming off, you know, like the holiday, and we're getting ready to go into some other holidays, and what people don't understand is their body needs a break and they're eating a lot of cooked food. And cooked food basically doesn't have that many uh, vitamins and nutrients and minerals in it. So when you supplement with raw juicing and raw vegetables and fruits, mm -hmm. then it helps to balance out the body. So it's all about balance. And I'm really excited about what's coming up for the spring and the summer. And so okay. I'm ready to do the juicing today. See, a lot of people think that, you know, okay, it's the, well, I'm going to start exercising. So if I start exercising, that'll be half the battle of me getting myself together. But what about the internal insides? You know, what, what should you or what people should do about that? Well, they need fuel in order to move. So the fuel that they need should come from juice. You know, when babies get here, they're drinking for like six months. They're not really eating. And nobody mm -hmm. says the baby's starving. So we got to start changing our mindset about eating and what that is. There's a difference between eating and feeding. Mm -hmm. And when you take in raw juices and raw vegetables and fruits, then you're actually feeding your body and fueling your body supporting your immune system and getting the energy that your body actually needs. Okay. Now, I don't want to, you know, to misinterpret this, but can a person actually juice every day, two or three times a day and not eat solid foods or should it be a combination? Well, some people go on a fast, mm -hmm. an extended fast, and they do raw juice and raw fruits and vegetables. But the more you take in raw, the better you'll feel and the less cooked food you'll need. So it's a balance and it's a benefit for your body. So it's, it's no, at no detriment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know for me, the first thing I have in the morning is a glass of water. And I, I remember we spoke about that before. That's like the golden rule. Before you put anything else in your mouth, besides toothpaste, you, <laughs> you should have a glass of water. Now, is that standard so that if a person is going to juice, they still should have their 64 ounces of water throughout the day? Yes. Okay. They should drink water before brushing their teeth okay. because anything you put in your mouth, your body says, oh, she's getting ready to eat a meal. And then it sends in the digestive juices. So what you want to do is cleanse and start the peristalsis, which is the movement from your mouth all the way down through your digestive system. Mm -hmm. And then your body is prepared to take in anything else. But if your body thinks that you're getting ready to eat a meal and you send in the acid, then you've got acid sitting on an empty stomach. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because I know for me, I like to drink a glass of water before I go to bed at night. Mm -hmm. And then when I get up in the morning. Now, it may be the water that's sat out. Some people say, how do you drink stale water? I don't look at water as stale water. I look at it as room temperature water. Yes. Room temperature is always best. Okay. Because cold water shocks the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So today, I know that since we're going to get into juicing, I had a chance to talk with you earlier about Whole Foods Signature. So I want you to give our, our, our viewers an idea of what is Whole, whole Foods Signatures. And I know that we have a little diagram here. 
that I have to show, and hopefully we'll get a good shot of that. Tell me something about this page that we have here. Okay, well, basically what it's illustrating is that the foods from nature mm -hmm. correlate with the different organ systems. Like the carrot, when you cut the carrot, it looks like the iris of the eye. And so it correlates with vision. Okay. It also helps the immune system. Um, the tomato has four chambers. It's okay. red and it correlates with the heart. The grapes are actually, when they're, when they're on the vine, mm -hmm. they're actually the shape of the heart and the grapes actually look like the construction of our cells. Then we have the walnuts. The walnuts look like the brain. They have the right hemisphere, the left hemisphere, the cerebellum, and they also help memory and they function very well with the brain. Wow. The kidneys, of course, kidney beans. Look like kidneys. Look like kidneys. The celery, the bok choy, and the rhubarb mm -hmm. correlates with the bones. As a matter of fact, when they first started um, doing the sound effects, mm -hmm. they would snap a stick of celery and okay. it sounds like bones breaking. So celery is really good wow. for the bones. Um, the this avocado, mm -hmm. the pear, um, those fruits and vegetables that look like mm -hmm. the uterus, the female organs actually help to support the feminine reproduction. Um, and avocado, as a matter of fact, takes nine months from the blossom to the actual avocado. So it correlates with gestation and birth and all of that, so it helps with that and balancing out the hormones. You know somebody's gonna email or uh, Twitter and ask this, are you serious? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow, okay, and this one here? Okay, um, that one is figs. Mm -hmm. And figs actually correlate with the male organs and they grow in pairs, so that Okay. They have seeds, so we know. Right. And then what else do we have there? Oh, the sweet potatoes. Looks mm -hmm. like the pancreas. Actually, they're actually good for cleansing the colon, too, because they're fibrous, mm -hmm. but it helps for diabetic control, so it balances out the insulin. We have olives, which, once again, it looks like the ovaries, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we have... Um, what is this? Is that an onion? The, yes, the onion. Okay. Um, the onion actually correlates with the cells of the body. We have grapefruits. Grapefruits, oranges, and the citruses, mm -hmm. when you cut them, they look like mammary glands. And the glands in the duct, so they support that. The bananas, male organ aligns with that, and peanuts. Those are also correlated with the male organs. As a matter of fact, peanuts, arginine is in mm -hmm. peanuts, mm -hmm. and that's used in Viagra. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, I'm going, <laughs> I'm not, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this is a serious topic here, so I'm not making light of it or a joke of, you know, what she's saying. It's just that a lot of stuff seems like, okay, it goes towards the, 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 the body, and most people look at like, I eat this every day, or no way would I think about fruit and vegetables in that terms. But for what it does to those particular organs of the body, it mm. does relate. Yes. Okay. It okay. does. Well, we're going to go to a break, and when we get back, we're going to have some more good information about the stuff that we're eating. Now we should start juicing. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I told you earlier, Dr. K is going to give us some juicing uh, ideas to come up with so that in case you're considering switching over to juicing or want to get started juicing, why not uh, take some of these ideas that Dr. K has? So, Dr. K, I'm glad that, you know, it's you doing the juicing and not me because I juice at home, but I'm, I'm a, a carrot juicer. I always juice carrot, carrot beet, uh, a little bit of carrot celery, uh, carrot apple. So, come on. Show me some new things that I can add to my uh, repertoire of juicing. Well, what I love to add to my carrot juice, because carrot juice is a staple, and that's what I recommend to my clients and my students to drink carrot juice, because it's just a really good all-over tonic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
I use a little bit of apple from time to time if the carrots are not quite in season. I always use organic and so they're free of pesticides and sprays and different things like that. But I use the carrot as a staple. I use the kale to add for chlorophyll. Okay. It's really important because this um, chlorophyll oxygenates the blood. So okay. it really helps. So okay. I'm going to start off with the staple, which is kale. the carrots. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to add the kale. <laughs> Questions. So ladies and gentlemen, I didn't want to talk to you guys while, while she's in the midst of doing this, but first and foremost, let me show everybody this glass of juice, even though I know it's just KO and, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So that, how many carrots was that, like five? Yeah. That was five carrots, okay, mm -hmm. and she just put a little bit of KO. So why was the KO just so little? I mean, it doesn't take that much? It doesn't take that much, and okay. sometimes kale may overpower, so okay. people have to do it according to their taste, because okay. when people are used to cook food, mm -hmm. when they do raw, mm -hmm. um, it it gives them a lot of energy, but people's taste buds have been kind of perverted, okay. so just have to do a little bit at a time. Um, as a matter of fact, if you put celery in there and you put too much celery, then it just throws the whole balance off. I had that off. problem. Okay. Yes. So do you want me to taste this as it is, or were you planning on putting something else in there? Taste it as it is, okay. and then we're going to add and a little bit of celery. You know I'm going to be brutal honest while you're playing. Okay, okay. so just in case, if the, if the kale is real strong, I want to tell people it's really strong. Nope, didn't taste a thing. Mmm. Mm. I, I just like carrot juice. It's really good. I don't taste the kale. Mm -hmm. Okay. It blends right in. Right. So, so what would kale and carrot be? What, what part of the body would it take care of? Well, the kale for the blood, mm -hmm. um, the carrot for the, the eyes, for strengthening the immune system, constipation, um, energy. Okay. Um, that's what people notice. Um, it helps with constipation, blood disorders, liver. It helps to you know, okay. help the liver to function. That sounds good to me. Now, do you want to, you know, continue and put something else in here? I mean, because I can yes. do this by itself. Yes. What I want to do is okay. I want to put in um, a slice of apple. I only use apple. See, apple is a neutral mm -hmm. fruit. So what I tell people, you don't want to mix fruits and vegetables together because people have started eating as a form of entertainment. So they're putting fruits and vegetables and putting it all together. The body produces one type of acid for vegetables and another type for fruits, and when you put those two acids together, it neutralizes. So that's why people end up with indigestion or okay. undigestion. Mm -hmm. So apple is neutral, and a lot of times people are used to something sweet, so the apple will sweeten it up. So what I want to do is put a little apple in right. into your carrot juice. Okay, all right, but this was, this was good. I mean, I, I really didn't notice the kale. Okay. <laughs> Half of an apple. Okay. And let me know how you like that. I can tell already. Okay. okay. All right. So let me get that. All and right. Just put and it right there. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see the apple. Can you yes. guys catch that? You can actually see the apple. And that apple was kind of thick mm -hmm. going in there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can a person just take all apples and make some juice? And oh, just definitely. Okay. As a matter of fact, it can be apples and you can actually put lemon. You know, wow. apple, lemon, mm -hmm. and that's a really good cleanser. As a matter of fact, if you take lemon, apple, lemon. and squeeze it into water first thing in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, when your water in the morning, okay. it helps to cleanse and flush out the liver. I know that. Okay. okay. And it, it's talking about a fresh lemon, not the lemon fresh juice. Fresh lemon, yes. Not the lemon juice. Not the, okay. Okay. So I just kind of like stirred it a little bit um, okay. you know, this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
It's like a, but I know it's not a smoothie devil, but it's got kind of like a, you know, smoothie move to it. Yes. Mm. I can taste that apple. Is there a certain kind of apple? Well, they have Jonathan, uh, well, McIntyre, Pink I Lady. Like, I like Fuji's. I like Pink Ladies. You want something that uh, apple that's sweet. You don't want the ones that are tart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, is there anything else you want to try putting here? Let's see. Let's put a little celery. That Just makes me nervous. Okay. okay. Well, we're going to try the celery. Okay. okay. All right. So since I know, because I want people to know that, you know, I like juicing. So if you're going to get into it, at least know the combinations of what to juice. And that way you won't get carried away. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If that celery changes my flavor, I'll tell you. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more Actually smell the celery okay I'm, I'm, I'm you know trying to get to the point where if I'm going to juice I want to blend the right things together okay okay Okay. and I like this juicer now let me ask you something about juice machines okay. does it doesn't matter what kind of juice machine you have I mean I know people say I want to get the, the right one I want to get an expensive one does it matter if it's expensive or inexpensive I tell people to start off with an inexpensive juicer because okay. what I've found is sometimes people will buy juicers and they don't like cleaning up and some juicers are just too tedious and time consuming for mm -hmm. a lot of people so just doing something basic so I just bought a real basic type of juicer okay yeah um, but you can put a whole apple in there. Yes, which makes it oh. nice because if the shoots are too small, uh, then you have to do a lot of right. cutting. But with this, you can put whole, right. whole pieces that was in it, there. That what turns people off is that, oh, i got to cut up the fruit, and that's what I have, but I'm willing to do it. Okay. But if you don't want to cut up the fruit or at least rinse it off mm -hmm. and cut the ends off or whatever and, you know, make yeah. sure that if you're going to put it down there, you can put the whole do thing down there or just cut it in half. doesn't matter. You can cut it in half. Um so that it breaks up evenly. Yeah. How is that? Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, it's good. Okay. okay, okay. I mean, actually, it is good. I mean, I didn't even, the uh, celery did not take over like I thought it would. The kale definitely didn't take over like I thought it would. Mm -hmm. And the apple and the carrot together blended perfectly enough to give it a sweet, a slight sweet taste. Yeah. Okay. Is there any calories to worry about in juicing? No. Your body absorbs. See, it doesn't have to go through the digestive process and the breakdown that when you're eating food. So it actually goes straight into your bloodstream. The celery, uh, once again, the mm -hmm. bones, mm -hmm. the celery has 23% sodium. Your bones have 23%. A sodium okay. so when you don't have enough sodium in your body mm -hmm. then it pulls it from your bones and that's when the bones get weak so you really want to make sure that you get enough celery in your system okay mm -hmm. but just a little bit of celery just a little bit of okay. celery yeah right. I ruined a whole <laughs> jar of juice I mean you know with that celery. Yeah. Okay. okay so now what do we have now we have people who are not into juicing so I know that today you were willing to show us a, a quick salad or two because a lot of people are like ah, maybe I'm not into juicing just yet or I'm getting into it but not that great so what do you have on that side okay on the counter to help us out with some people saying juicing is cool but I like to eat, so. Right. Okay. And okay. ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking my juice with me, okay? <laughs> okay. okay. I actually enjoy enjoying the juice. I just want people to know, as we do cooking shows, and today is not a cooking show, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. K coming to join us to give us some healthy tips uh, in the kitchen because we're switching over to uh, more healthier type eating. But in the future, when you see us do a cooking show, if you have a question, you may give us a call at 1-800-323-5336, one 800 323 5336. Uh, Twitter, um, hash, hash, just as talk show. Facebook, just as talk show. Or just go ahead and email us at justastalkshow.org. Okay, so we have a hundred ways that you can contact us for a show idea, whether it's cooking or something else that you think is important for our viewers to know about. But definitely um, remember, there's a call out for the conscious chef. If you think you're the next conscious chef, you need to call me. All righty. So, Dr. K, I'm telling you, I'm one of those people that I am conscious about my health. I mean, I can go in and out, you know, and when I'm in the mood for doing it, I want to do it right. 
And so I'm, I'm noticing that uh, while I was making my speech, that you're cutting up some kale. Yes. Now, is kale better than lettuce? Oh, yes. Um, well, it depends on what type of lettuce, but the typical iceberg lettuce mm -hmm. basically has very little nutrition in it. Iceberg, so okay. the greener your veggies are, the mm -hmm. more chlorophyll. Okay. And so you want dark green leafy vegetables as a staple. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little kale salad. And the other thing that's really, really important is to make your salads and your food appetizing. Mm -hmm. And when you use color, your body responds to the colors mm -hmm. because each color has a vibration, so it has energy. And all you have to do is just slice up your... Okay. And it's okay for the seeds to be in because that's where your nutrients are. See, I remember um, growing up that they said, oh, spit out the seeds, and now they've got all the seedless fruits and veggies, mm -hmm. the seeds, that's the blueprint of the fruits and veggies. So that's where you get a lot of your nutrients. Okay. And mm -hmm. when you're using the uh, different colored peppers, I don't have orange one here today, but um, I like to I use I like the, the colors. I mean, you know, oh, I, and yeah. I'm not really a person that cooks with the peppers, mm -hmm. but I do notice them in certain foods that they look good and then they do taste good. Now, so, and I always get confused that these peppers are hot, but they're not. No, they're not. Okay. They're like green peppers, but not. <laughs> okay, okay. So I always think in terms of if I see a pepper, that's hot. That's not. It's not a vegetable that I normally would just pick up and prepare a meal with. But when you guys come and do something, we always go, okay, now we got to cook with that in order to make that meal, duplicate that meal just right. Right. And um, I use scissors for the kale to make it into mm -hmm. bite-sized pieces. Yeah, yeah. I have some of those, it's called meat scissors. Yes. So, so don't get it twisted, ladies and gentlemen, that, oh, she's got regular scissors. No, this is actually poultry scissors. I have two pair, okay? And, and they should stay in the kitchen, in the drawer with the rest of the uh, cutlery. Do not confuse these and put these in your regular um, utensil or tool area. Okay, all okay. right. And so, you know what, like, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm, I'm very much into health and wealth, wellness. So, you know, here at Sola, we'd like to thank them so much for having us here because we come here on a regular basis. And um, this beautiful kitchen is, you know, part of the setup to let you know that, hey, you want to eat good? You want to see what you're eating? Definitely. You want to have a, a place where you can enjoy the view, and this is one of them. Okay, so thank you, Sola. All right, so Dr. K, yes. now, since I'm a juicer, if I'm having a day where I don't feel like juicing, mm -hmm. I can enjoy a nice salad, okay? Are we looking at meatless salads? Yes, okay. today it's meatless. Well, I'm, I'm vegan and I choose to be, but if you want to um, add, you know, meat topping, mm -hmm. but the, the main thing to remember is that your vegetables our intestinal brooms. So they help to sweep and clean out. So actually, we're supposed to eat salads. That's why they serve a salad before the meal mm -hmm. because it sets your body up. It gives you the nutrition that you need and it sets your body up for uh, the nutrition and then the food to follow afterwards. Okay. So if you're gonna eat meat or something like that, do your salads first and then add, add meat if you're gonna eat meat. All right. Okay, so I've that. got right. um, organic squash. Everything um, that I'm putting in is organic. Okay. Now, if a person can't afford organic, can they just go to their grocery? Um, I would suggest going to farmer's markets and supporting okay. the local farmers. All right. So let's do we that. We can do that. And just make sure that when you do um, purchase your vegetables and your fruits to make sure that you use a veggie wash or um, hydrogen, you know, the food grade hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. to get rid of any uh, pesticides or any residues. Okay. All right. We, we can do that. Yes. I believe we, yes, can, do we that. can do that. Well, I tell you one thing, this is a colorful dish already and it looks good already. I, if you, and ladies and gentlemen, if you were here in my shoes and you could smell all these wonderful, uh, you know, old aromas, 
other for other vegetables, you'd be like, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start having, if they say meatless Mondays, it could be meatless Sunday. It doesn't matter. As long as it's one day that you don't have to consume so much meat and worry about meat. If you have small children, if you start your children off with eating vegetables at an early age, then they'll grow to like vegetables. But you can't tell a 10-year-old, you're going to start eating vegetables when you didn't <laughs> give it to them when they were one. Okay? So and that's kind of hard to do. So if you're going to start to eat healthy and you want your your entire family to eat healthy with you, then you want to have meals like this that Dr. K is preparing and the other ladies and gentlemen that you see come on the show that are increasingly trying to help us eat and do better. Special Olympics. Be a fan. We'll do. Okay, so that's... This is your plate. I know that. <laughs> this is your plate. And most people always wonder, why do I sample the food? Who else is going to sample it? You won't believe anybody else but me. But you can come and sample it yourself. So once again, 1-800-323-5336. 1-800-323-5336. Or Twitter, hashtag Just As Talk Show. Facebook, Just As Talk Show. Email, or web address rather, justastalkshow.org. All right? So you have options, ladies and gentlemen. And I know you got some show ideas. And I know it's a lot of you chefs out there saying, I can do better than that. Well, I'm waiting to hear from you. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Okay. Well, I know we got to get a shot of that. I don't, I don't know who. Cameraman. Okay. That looks good. Now, this is like a vegetarian dinner. Yes, it or is. Or lunch. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Okay. All right. All right. So, okay. I'm going to stick right in. So, of course, I want to taste my kale. Put a little dressing on it. So, let me go here. And I like zucchini. All right. Just trying to be neat. <laughs> dressing is good. That's good. And it only takes a few minutes. I don't even think that was 10 minutes. No. Okay. Okay. And then the other thing that I like to do too is I, I love mushrooms. I get the button mm -hmm. mushrooms mm -hmm. and um, the onions. I get red onions and I slice them up, put them in some maybe coconut oil or sesame oil and season them a little bit with um, maybe some liquid brag aminos or a spike mm -hmm. and, or a vegisol and saute them and then put it on top of the salad. So it just really just stress, stretches it out. And um, mushrooms, a lot of times, takes the flavor and it also takes on the consistency of eating meat. So okay. people aren't missing the meat. And then there's a lot of substitutes that you can use. You know, like sometimes people like um, tofu. Mm -hmm. And I saute tofu and put it on there. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with salad. People think that when you're vegan or vegetarian or eating healthy, then you're eating sticks and twigs. But um, okay. the, food is, the food is excellent, and I love it. And you'll notice that you'll have more energy because mm -hmm. when you're eating meat, and I'm saying you shouldn't eat meat, but when you're eating meat, it takes about 12 hours to digest. Okay. So if you're eating meat three times a day, then that's going into another day wow. of digestion. Wow. So just increase your raw fruits and vegetables and just balance out and just listen to your body. And if your body says, mm, I like this, then go with what your body tells you. Well, I'm going to have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, my body says today <laughs> that Marsha is enjoying her juice, which I'm going to finish off camera, and definitely enjoying the salad. And this is a kale salad. This is not your regular everyday lettuce. So that that what got me right there is that mm -hmm. I can go shopping now and buy kale. Yes. Okay. And then I actually enjoy the uh, yellow peppers. Are they called peppers? Yes, they're okay. called peppers. Yes. Okay. Yellow peppers, red peppers. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I don't want to be rude. I'm going to have to finish this. Okay, okay. Okay, Dr. K, you got to come back again. Okay, we miss I you. I will. Thank okay, you. our viewers miss you, so we want to thank, you know, our viewers for uh, chiming in and saying, where's Dr. K, okay? And thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to encourage you to get started. Don't wait till the weather break. Don't wait and say, you know, I'm trying to get my body together for a swimsuit or for a vacation. Just get started. And if juicing is the way for you, then... Um, Let's get started with juicing. Please visit our website to 
get a couple of ideas that uh, Dr. K has shared with us about juicing, as well as if you have an interest in the map of uh, what the foods are that she showed us earlier, we'll include that too. Okay, I'm your host, Marcia Florence, for Just Ask, what do I always say? If you know someone with a disability or if you just have a general question, don't be afraid to ask, just ask. Thank you. Thanks,